Hello everyone, I am Lock Rules and welcome to our Middle Earth Project Update. So in last week's video we showed off Combe and Staddle, two of the smaller villages on the back of the Bree Hill. These were designed simply to be small villages, small settlements, but now we've been tasked with making a much larger settlement, and that is Bree. Bree is the first settlement the Hobbits reach once they leave the Shire. It's located just east of the Shire and on a major crossroad. Many travellers would typically pass through these regions. Gandalf was one frequent passer, as well as being in such a prime location for many different races to pass through. So who knows, maybe this is where Gandalf and Thorin Oakenshaw met, and thus this is where the quest for Erebor originated. So you can see we've only really just started and we aren't close to being finished at this point. Uh, most of this area here still needs to be filled in with houses. We still need to add all of them in, design all the houses and place them in. I'd say that we're maybe a quarter of the way to being finished. Uh, you might also be wondering what these blue dots on the houses are. That just means that uh, they simply need interior still or there's some work that needs to be done. But most of the houses here are completely finished. I mean, they haven't got a blue dot. There's uh, about four in total and uh, we've got a couple up there, meaning uh, they need work on still. Um, so I'm just going to show around some of the houses. I'm just going to start with uh, this one, a uh, nice big one. This here is meant to be some sort of town hall. We've got like a gateway coming in. Uh, we've got some nice interior. Um, we could go upstairs, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, we'll just fly over into this room here. Um, we've got some more, some sort of meeting room. Um, yeah, let's go upstairs. Just run up through here and take the stairs up. All of the houses here have got unique interior. Um, we don't make any house the same. They're all they're all different. They've all got something different about them to give them a nice spin. So no two houses are the same. Um, we, we're not using the same design twice, and the interior that we use is all completely different. And I can't find a way out. I've just got completely lost. Um, okay, here we go. Um, let's fly over to this one here. This is probably the main house in Bree. Uh, it's definitely, well, sorry, it's not even a house. If this is the main building in Bree, this here is the Prancing Pony Inn. So let's just take a look inside. Just jump into the bar and we can be served a drink. Uh, we can get some Shire Ale. Oh, I shouldn't really be behind the bar, should I? <laughs> uh, Dwarven Malt, uh, some Brunen beer. Um, we've got some tables you can sit around. Um, and let's go over here. Oh, stop sprinting. And we've got a kitchen area where you some chefs doing their own thing. I'm going to go into here. Um, then we've got some bathroom. We probably shouldn't look around here too long. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. So these are all the rooms in the Prancy Pony Inn. So we'll just have a quick look at a couple of them. So we've got a bedroom here. Um, close the door. Um, got another bedroom. Um, some more bedrooms. A fireplace. Nice cool corridors. Um, let's go up to the next floor. Um, rooms 10 to 16 and 1 to 2. Let's go up here. This here is uh, into a, another building entirely. This is, I don't know, the only of the inn to live here. Um, and this is a completely different building. Uh, this is private, do not enter. The door should probably not be open. And let's go up here. Um, and just open up a few minutes. Uh, I'm not going to continue because we um, going around forever. There's quite a lot of rooms. Um, there's 16 in total. Um, so we don't really want to be going around forever looking at all the different buildings. So all the different rooms and all the different beds and all the different designs. So let's just take a walk outside and close the door. Um, what else can we show off? Um, I'm going to show off some of the Hobbit Hole. So let's just fly over to this one. This is quite a cool hobbit hole, um, very unique, uh, completely different to the hobbit hole that I made in my ch um, hobbit hole video. Um, so let's do a pannery. Um, what else have we got? Some sort of um, study area. And this is a very, very nice bathroom. Um, got a very nice bath there. And I imagine this is the toilet. Okay. Oh dear, oh no, what have I done there? <laughs> oh, I can't get that back on. Okay, it's gone rogue. We'll just destroy it and replace it. <laughs> um, let's have a look in here. These are the bedrooms. 
um, and that's some sort of study area, some sort of dining room. Come up here, and we've got another bed. Okay, let's take a walk outside. And back round, and out. So these are all the houses we have in Greece so far. Uh, we do know that we need to add quite a few more. However, surrounding Bree, we've added quite a bit of work. Uh, we've got hills and grass and mounds. We've also added farms of different interesting um, surrounding Bree. So that really just about sums up what we've been working on over the last week. We've done the terrain, we've put a few houses into Bree. Uh, the Prancer Pony, I think, it looks really cool. Uh, we've also got a few things that we've got in the lines for next week, which I'm not going to spoil until then. So, um, other than that, um, it, I think it looks quite cool. And thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time.